is the Donna Walton Gospel Show. It's the Donna Walton Gospel Show. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Donna Walton Gospel Show, episode 12. And I am your host, Donna Walton. This episode, the Lord is leading me to do something a little different. This episode is a special episode because I'm going to talk to Pastor Terry L. B., who is doing so much for the kingdom of God and in impacting so many people's lives with her ministry. This episode is different because I want Terry to talk about her ministry and to give encouragement and to give hope to um, young women who aspire to become an entertainer in the gospel industry. Um, She has a worldwide ministries. Uh, She does, she's a woman of God that wears so many different hats. So here is my interview with Pastor Terry L. B. from Cincinnati, Ohio. Terry L. B. is the founder and president of Streets of Gold Productions. She is an award-winning writer of stage plays, movies, music videos, and books. Both of her songs, God's Love Letter and A Savior Who Saves, won Song of the Year in 2016 at the Christian Festival Award. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you all, Pastor Terry L. B. Oh, oh my God, I was so honored. Yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> I know her. I went to school with her. Hallelujah. I, I love hey, your personality. Girl. Hey, <laughs> it is such an honor to have you Thank on you. the Donna Walton Gospel Show. Uh, you, I tell you, mm-mm, you wear so many hats, honey. I got, I got a big head. I got a big of, head. I love you, honey. I got out of breath just introducing you. You have you, you have so much going on for you. Oh wow! Uh, yes, that be the glory. It's so amazing. So, um, how do you find the time? Uh, you're <laughs> juggling, you know, the writing and the directing, the producing, being a wife and a mother and a pastor and a singer. Now, this is a song, and a songwriter, <laughs> and an author, and a, a motivational speaker. And I'm also a full time student. Oh my, oh my God, you've added, <laughs> <laughs> you've added another uh, attribute to such accolades of your repertoire. I am, I tell you, I, I, I'm impressed to. To my bones, I'm impressed. <laughs> Amen. Lord, let some of that rub off on me. <laughs> God is good. He's so yes. good. You know, and and I give all the glory to God. Yes. However, Paul said, I can. Come on. Do all things. Yes. Uh, through Christ who strengthens me. So it's all about your willingness. Um, obviously, if I were to die today, I would die pretty much full of all that he's given me because there's mm-hmm. still some things that I haven't tapped into yet. Wow. It, 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 it doesn't um, stand to, I, I haven't, I haven't seen all mm-hmm. of that he's given me in, in my latter days, according to the word of God, is supposed to be greater than my former days. So yes. obviously there's still more things for me to do. Yeah, and then you humble on top of all of that. Yeah, I'm real humble. Yeah, yes, I'm you very, are. I'm so very, very humble. You would not, yeah. the, you couldn't <laughs> measure the depth and of my humbleness. You're down to earth. <laughs> so lovable. <laughs> yes, I God love is good. it. Yes. He's good. I just really love, I love people. Yeah, I can tell. I, I don't yeah. like them. I don't like them. <laughs> 
I do love them, though. Yeah, you love God. Some of y'all make me itch. <laughs> Come on, sir. Some, of, some of y'all, I make you look at them sideways uh-huh. and clutch your pearls. I know. But, that, that, test, that test is something else, but you know, that test makes us our best. You know, yeah. you know when, when folks rub us the wrong way, you know, uh-huh. God is watching to see how we're going to react to that. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Well, you know, if you let alcohol rub you the wrong way, too, oh, that could give you a rash. Ooh, honey. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, among other things. Right, things. right, <laughs> right. My Lord. Well, now, um, of course, you know, you have so much going on uh, for you. and But when did you start your journey to entertain in a ministerial way, and and what actually inspired you to doing this? <laughs> I didn't get any inspiration. Uh, I don't have a Sunday school anointing, and this did not come through vacation Bible study. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I actually got, uh, I, yeah, I, I didn't learn what I know from seminary. I, I have a cemetery anointing. Okay. You know, I had, there were some dead things. Wow, that's good. That um, I was dwelling in and living amongst and mm-hmm. and uh, cutting myself, throwing myself in and out of fires. I had a dumb spirit. Yeah, oh my Lord. <laughs> and you know. Uh, I had a dumb spirit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the funny thing about it is, mm-hmm. a lot of people, it's really hard for me to convince people of this, but mm-hmm. I am, ex- I'm, I'm almost debilitatingly shy. No way. And, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And I have a very, very bad speech impediment. I have a really bad stutter. No. Yes, Lord. You just you'd be but begging me to shut up after a while. But, but you'd be look begging me. <laughs> <laughs> begging me to shut up after a while. Write me a letter, <laughs> Terry B. Text something. Girl, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Yeah, it's right. terrible. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's terrible. And a lot of people, it's hard for me to convince people of that. So I didn't mm-hmm. get a call like somebody said, hey, you should be preaching, or I see mm-hmm. you preaching, you know, or you should be speaking, or you should be doing any of that. In fact, it, it happened the complete opposite of me. I know, I know when Terry B. ends and God begins. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm not confused as to how important I am mm-hmm. to him. Mm-hmm. I know he could do better than me. Yeah. I, I know he should have done better than me. But mm-hmm. by the grace of God here I am. So yeah. um I, I can't I can't I can't touch anything that says, Oh, this was the day, mm-hmm. you know, the clouds parted and mm-hmm. the dove fell and he said, this is my beloved child, you know, mm-hmm. I, I don't have one of those. I, I have one of those moments where um, I, I said, Lord, if you pull me out of this, come on, mm-hmm. and if you could use what's left of my life, mm-hmm. um, go ahead and use me. If you can use me, you can use me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it seems <laughs> if you like can you, find, yeah, yeah, you've gotten to that point where, okay, mm-hmm. God, um, you know what? I'm going to give you my all, so you go ahead and use me. But you know what, Terry? I mean, your your life story is is is, is an amazing story. Um, your accomplishments, uh, and and you said something earlier that you know God is not through with you yet, honey. Mm-mm, I mean, mm-mm. your eyes haven't even seen. Nope. What God has. Your ears haven't even heard the things that God is getting nope. ready to do for Pastor Terry L. B. for her faithfulness <laughs> and, and being humble the way she is. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. I'm honored. It's an honor to serve mm-hmm. him. I, I'm like Paul. I'm indebted to him. I'm Amen. an indentured servant. I, I owe him mm-hmm. me. <laughs> I owe him me. I don't, I don't have anything but a yeah. yes. Yeah. How dare I? How dare I even think that I've gotten to the point where I can tell him maybe mm-hmm. or not yet or <laughs> yeah. let me think about it. And and he's he's searching for, you know, servants who would mm-hmm. obey and, and be keen to hear his voice and listen to the Holy Spirit be led, you know, mm-hmm. because I tell you, and I feel that way even in the radio industry. I 
have to be led. Even the people that I select to be on the Donna Walton Gospel Show, I, I have to be led by the Holy Spirit, even the music right. that I play. Um, right. Because, you know, when God is in this, it's going to blossom, you know, it's going right. to blossom. Absolutely. Yeah. So now tell us about your movies and your stage plays and which one is most personal to you? Oh, wow. My favorite stage play is Grandma's Hand. Wow. It was the uh, first stage play I've ever done. It's about a two-hour long um, play. Mm -hmm. And it's about a woman who uh, loses her biological daughter to drug abuse. And she doesn't see this daughter. The daughter runs away when she's like 18 years old. She comes back, you know, a few years later to dump a baby off on her. Mm -hmm. And she leaves this baby with her, abandons her baby, gives her to the mother. The mother's brokenhearted. You know, I already lost one child. I obviously don't know how to raise children because my, my child turned out this way. Now, Lord, you want to give me another child? And I'm supposed to try to figure out at this age mm -hmm. how to raise this child differently than I raised her mother. Um, the child grows up, uh, good, good uh, background, good upbringing, mm -hmm. grandma's Holy Ghost field, five baptized, speaking in tongues, she know how to, she know the word of God, you know, and, and she, um, the girl ends up growing up, she rebels immediately, and one of the things that is so profound to me is when there's this final confrontation between grandma and her granddaughter. Wow. And the and the granddaughter says, "You know what? You should have just left me with my mother." And and I'm just like my mother. You should have just left me with my mother. And grandma looks at her and says, "You mean to tell me you had the choice between doing right and doing wrong and you chose wrong as a tribute to your mother? Mm. You chose to live your life in this reckless, wild, chaotic way for a Polaroid picture." Because she didn't know her mother. And that's how a lot of us live our lives with these false uh, ideologies of mm. what they missed. They wow. think they missed something, you know, because I don't know my daddy. You think you missed out on something. And sometimes God doesn't want you to grow up um, from the tree that you fell from. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God really just plants you somewhere. Come on. Um, but they're not supposed to raise you. Uh -huh. You know, the person that, the, the, wherever you came from does not necessarily mean that's where you're supposed to be coming um, out of or who's supposed to be raising you. Ultimately, Grandma dies and the granddaughter has to make the decision for herself mm -hmm. what type of person she's going to be. So Grandma's Hands is probably my my. Favorite Ooh, out of all of them. honey, you took me there. My, I, <laughs> I know the listening audience feel the same way. Y'all, we've we've got to check out these movies. Oh my lord! Uh, but now, how does one go about joining your your production or your, uh, your company of entertainment? Do they audition? Uh, what is that process like? For me, it's it's a little simpler than an audition. Mm -hmm. I uh, God deals with me in such a way, and I know, and, and I try not to use a whole bunch of churchy cliche mm -hmm. uh, uh, words, but God does literally deal with me in such a way as I, I know what the uh, role requires. I, I can even see the actor okay. or the actress in some roles, so I know what I'm looking for. I know when I see them, and I know when that when I hear them if that's mm -hmm. the right person. So a lot of times, you know, I'll go out on Facebook and I'll look through my friends or my friends' friends, and then if I see somebody that I think uh, would be a good fit, I'll message them myself personally. Yeah, wow. So I do, uh, I do hold auditions. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big auditioner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a big person to do that. Again, if I, if I have a role, and I feel like you know, uh, God is just going to lead me to that particular individual, then I'll just do it that way. Um, but I have held auditions for movies when I've done larger proje uh, projects like our films and stuff like that. We do hold auditions for our larger films. Otherwise, people can just inbox me 
and Facebook or go out to my uh, website and message mm-hmm. me that way. You have this instinct. You could discern who's right for a particular part. So that's just the heart of a director. And you you know, I mean, you're the creator, and you know exactly what you're looking for. And to be able to see that in someone, oh, now that's gifted. You that's are the heart of talented. God. Yes, it but is. That's the heart of God. <laughs> God had to overlook so many people to get mm-hmm. that right woman for the Donna Walton show. <laughs> you know, he had to he had to look he had to look through all of your cousins and your aunties and you yeah. know so, just so that he can find the right fit. Yeah. And that's how that's really how faith is. Mm-hmm. That's really how you you know that's really how he established faith. That's how he that's how he knew Mary wasn't going to abort the baby. Yeah. You know, that's how you that's how he knew that, you know, even though Moses kicked against it and fought with it, he knew he was yeah. gonna do what he called him to do because he he, he, he ordained it that way. Yeah. You know. And <laughs> he's he never gives us anything that's gonna be easy and comfortable and familiar. As, as a matter of fact, as soon as I hear somebody say, Oh, I know a guy, he, he opened the door and everything fell right into place and I ain't have no trouble, I ain't have no ooh, I was a girl, close the door, close it, close it. <laughs> yes, something close it. wrong now. <laughs> I don't know who sent you yes. that message. Yes. But if yes. you have no opposition, if you have mm-hmm. no obstacles, if you have no mountains, if you have no conflict, if yes. you have no chaos, if you have no controversy, mm. then that didn't come from God. Come on. If you have no cross to carry, come on. You got a problem. You need to go ahead and tell them <laughs> no. Slide that hundred dollars back across the table and tell them no deal. Yeah. <laughs> no oh deal. Lord. That's good. That's good. Um what are your words of encouragement to someone who wants to do what you're doing or someone who's uh, who's actually starting out in this uh, type of ministry? What would you, what would you say to them? Um, hang on in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure you know what your motives are, your why. You have to have a why. Mm-hmm. You have to have a why. If if your why is to be uh, discovered and known and followed and liked, then that why has to sustain you. Mm. That why has to sustain you until you are followed and loved and admired and liked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because if you're doing anything for Christ, you will be despised. How do I know this? Because he was despised yeah. and he was rejected. And he was forsaken, and he was abandoned, and he, you know, he, he by his own people. Mm-hmm. So, you know, one of the frustrations that I have is that, you know, you you don't often feel like people support you. They don't, you know, and it's hard for me because I'm I'm a black yeah. woman. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm I'm black, mm-hmm. comma woman, comma. Yeah, the opposition, <laughs> Cr- all around. Right. Yeah, it's all over the place. You know, mm-hmm. I, I'm a I'm a pastor, I'm a female pastor. And so you still have people who don't yeah. believe in female pastors. Mm-hmm. No woman can talk over no man's life. Can't no woman teach. They want to talk. They want to quote Corinthians yeah. and all these different things <laughs> at you. And they want to tell you how you don't belong here and how you don't fit. Uh-huh. And that's fine. That's uh-huh. fine for you to tell me that. But whose report are you going to believe? Come on. <laughs> I have to believe the one who called me. He called me knowing that I was going to come up against opposition. He called me knowing that there were going to people that were going to stand against me. He knew I was going to have comrades, allies, and enemies. And so you have to have a why. You have to have a why so that when you don't get the phone calls, you don't get the invitations, you don't get the likes, you don't get the follows, when you just get people trying to, you know, troll Facebook to see what you're doing Mm -hmm. and you got witches coming against you and warlocks hating you and you got haters Mm -hmm. hating you and you got you got Mm -hmm. family hating you and friends well sort of friends frenemies frenemies hating you Uh (laughs) you know you got them hating you and you know what you're doing and 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 why are you doing it you got to have a why you're doing it because if you don't have the right why you will quit when you get in some trouble Mm, wow, that's good. You will, yeah, you, you'll quit. You'll, you'll, you'll stumble. You'll stagger. 
You'll stagger under the weight of the clouds. You'll mm -hmm. just like you'll stand up under the pressure of the crowd. You will stagger under the weight of the clouds. Yeah. You will, because even if they like you, even if they love you, if you don't have the right why, it will wear you out. Wow. It My will wear God. you out. Yeah, mm -hmm. even blessing can become a burden if you don't have the right why. And sometimes God doesn't give it to you right away because he needs you to laugh. Uh -huh. It's not just about being good for a day or, or a month or a week. It's about being good a lifetime. And if he can trust you in the weight, in the pressure, in the W-E-I-G-H-T of the weight, W-A-I-T, then he can press you. He, he can trust you with pressing you down and shaking you together and yeah. running you over. He can trust you with that, too. Some of us, some of us want success just so that we can gloat. <laughs> See, I told you uh -huh. I could do it. I told mm -hmm. you I was going to be. I told mm -hmm. you I could get there. Your why is all wrong. That's why the Bible says that you can want something amiss. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can want something for the wrong reason. You can want something for the wrong motive. And if your motivation is not right, then you're not being drawn. Yeah. You're being driven. And there's a difference between being drawn and being driven. He says, with love and kindness, I have drawn you to me. But if you're being driven, then you'll run right past God just to have your way. Preach, Pastor. Preach. That is such a <laughs> good word, honey. And you know, you stand in the test of time. And, right. and, and I hear wisdom, you know, um, and, and you, I, I also hear um, how, you know, you are before the face of the Lord and you seek him because you're mm -hmm. strong, you know, and, and, you know, the joy of the Lord is it's our strength, strength right. you know, right. and, and God does. He looks at the heart. He looks at your motives. And if your motive is, is, is right with him, if you have the heart um, of God to, to be a servant, you know, mm -hmm. and, and to work as if you're working unto God. Mm -hmm. He is going to make those crooked places straight. Straight, right, And right, then he's right. going to give you the strength to to endure all of the haters. You know, he'll give you the ingredients to make hater raid. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just you have to get sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So when God is for us, who mm -hmm. can be against us? And mm -hmm. then... And and if he he's already on the inside of us, so greater is he mm -hmm. that's inside of us than than those he that's in haters the world, that's right. in the world or or the right, enemy. Right. So you know when we look to God and we trust Him with our whole heart and we acknowledge mm -hmm. Him, you know He is going to direct our path. So I have to, me personally, Pastor, I have got to turn to the Lord for everything because see everything. Donald Walton would mess up in a heartbeat. <laughs> so I've right. got to make sure right. that I consult with the Lord um, before I move forward because I want to make sure I'm guided, you know, by right. the Holy Spirit. Right. Oh, my God. I, You know, I thank you so much for just giving me the opportunity to, to interview oh. Terry. Pastor Terry <laughs> L.C. Oh, wow. Girl, I'm going to have to Girl, I lay down my you. head and get so heavy. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. I so love you. Much. No problem. No problem. I enjoyed it. Yes. I enjoyed yes. it. Thank you so much. Finally, I want you to tell everybody, because I need y'all to go and, and support this woman of God. Where can we find your movies, your books? Uh, when is your next event? Uh, are you available <laughs> for motivational speaking anywhere? Where can people, where can we get in contact with you? Um, I'm always, well, I don't want to say always available. Mm -hmm. I'm mostly available um, for speaking, absolutely. Um, I only go where God leads me. So, I, again, I know that sounds corny, but that's the truth. That's the truth. Uh, yes. you, can, yes. you can find me, uh, Terry LB, on Facebook, or you can go to uh, www.streetsofgoldproduction.org, or um, the name of my ministry is Streets of um Streets of Gold Global Ministries, where we are not a denomination, we are a destination. Um, and you can also reach me on Streets uh, of Gold One at Live.com. That's my website. 
and and uh, to find your movies and so forth are uh, they on DVDs or do we can we uh, purchase them on your yep, website? Yep, you can certainly you can certainly purchase them on the website. Mm-hmm. You can request our plays. Um, I'm, I'm always available to bring our plays to different ministries. In fact, we use our plays as fundraising uh, tools for ministries. So ministries call us in and we perform a play for for ministries that are trying to raise funds or raise. Uh, you know, everybody got that building fund. Uh-huh. If you need, if you need a little extra building fund money, yes. call us and we'll come in and we'll perform. We have comedies, we have uh, all kinds of stuff. And again, I, I, I even have a one woman uh, stage play called "The Woman in the Word" that I perform uh, by myself, wow. which is a uh, pretty powerful. So I, I do that, and yes, I am also available for speaking and. Um, you can contact me that way. Yes. Well, I tell you, I love uh, what God is doing in your life, and I appreciate your ministry. It's different, uh, and and you have a you put passion into everything that you do, and and so we feel that. And I'm gonna mm-hmm. have to I have to say this one thing before we go. Crowning of a maestro, honey. <laughs> Uh, it brings tears to my eyes. We definitely wow. play that song. We play quite a few of your songs on um, Christian Beats and also Soul Saving Radio. And um, I just, you know, listening audience, you all must uh, tune in and listen to her music, download it, purchase it. I know it will definitely bless you all. Thank you so much. God bless you all. And now we will hear the beautiful song she wrote which is called Crowning of a Maestro. A crowd slowly gathers as the concert begins. The orchestra prepares as the maestros are shut in. Earth holds its breath and silently waits while a proud father watches a performance starring his child. As the maestro prepares for a solo, a choir sings of his intro. And they sing, I hear a song of a crowning of a maestro. All of earth sings along how his death was the crescendo. Not a song you can dance to, make love or romance to. But I promise you will sing to the glory of our King. A violin plays as the strings slowly strum and the sound of a heartbeat pounds like a trumpet. Terry has an annual conference that recognizes the strength and the uh, empowerment that embodies women with integrity and, and who has that heart to serve. So this award ceremony is the fourth annual Hear My Heart Women's Conference. And I encourage you all to go to her website and find out more about it. If the ceremony is uh, in Cincinnati. It's June the 28th through the 29th at 7 o'clock p.m. So go to her Facebook page to find out. Or you could go to her website, Streets of Gold Global Ministries, to find more about that. Also check her out on WCVG 1320 AM. She has a program, Purpose of Praise. Tune in Saturday mornings at 10 o'clock a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time. Go out and uh, patronize this woman of God and support her ministry. She has a powerful, powerful ministry impacting uh, the lives of everyone who watches her films, read her books. She's working hard for the kingdom. Once again, I'd like to thank 
Pastor Terry L.B., for being my special guest today. Um, the Holy Spirit just had me to do this episode different because she has a lot to offer and has a lot to say to the heart of people everywhere. And with that being said, thank you all for staying with me. God bless you all. I love you. And you have a blessed rest of the week.